So good uh, afternoon, everybody. Uh, our next speaker for the lightning talks is uh, Francesco Melchiori, and he'll be talking about uh, Elevix. Please give him a, a big hand. <clears throat> Hello, my name is Francesco Melchiori. I'm a product manager in Bur Phoenix, which is a, an IT um, Italian company. Uh, we, our goal is to monitor the end user experience of general network applications. And we, here we, you've got the, the general idea. So you've got the general uh, uh, network applications in cloud and uh, at, the, at the other end, the end user. In the middle, uh, we've got the, the complexity of the, of the network. So uh, at the end of the day, the end user uh, suffers uh, because of the performances of those uh, applications. Um, our goal is to assess the, the perceived um, quality of service. Uh, so here you've got uh, three scenarios. Uh, the first one is when you have uh, um, an open application with an open protocol. And it's quite easy to, let's say, to assess the uh, quality of service. Uh, you have to, um, to, to call the, uh, the open APIs uh, to uh, an open protocol like uh, HTTP. Uh, but the other two cases uh, uh, are definitely um, hard to solve because in, in the second case, uh, we, we have to face a, a closed client with a closed protocol, uh, so custom socket programming. Uh, and uh, the last, uh, in the last uh, scenario, we've got a, a virtualized application in cloud, even more uh, severe. So basically, you've got a, a video and audio uh, stream uh, directly on your uh, web browser. So uh, that's, that's difficult. We're developing a solution in order to solve all of these uh, three uh, scenarios. I'm talking about Alivix, but what? What is Alivix? Alivix is a visual synthetic monitoring system. What does it mean? Uh, visual, because Alivix looks like, looks uh, at graphic user interfaces. It's synthetic because um, Alivix behaves like a human user using mouse and keyboards exactly as a human would do. And it's monitoring because Alivix is able to, to track uh, transaction performances. So first of all, Alivix can automate any application. Why? Uh, it provides to you a graphical user interfaces tools in order to design those transactions. Uh, well, it's, it's uh, made with uh, Python, OpenCV, Tesseractor, CR, and uh, a robot framework. So basically, the idea is that you have a, trans a transaction and you want to, uh, let's say, uh, to translate, to convert this transaction in one custom Alivis keyword. So uh, defining graphics on, on those transactions, uh, planning interaction to it, and finally measuring the time the, the keyword takes to appear on the screen. Uh, we've got several tools, for example, the image finder. You can detect images, uh, tiny images, uh, really big images, uh, doesn't matter. Um, you have a rectangular finder. You can detect rectangulars on your uh, graphical user interface, like uh, buttons, uh, edit boxes, uh, windows, and so on and so forth. Um, and finally, we've got uh, text finders. Uh, so basically, uh, Alivix is able to scrape, in some sense, your graphical user interfaces um, and match uh, the text with regular expressions. Uh, it works also with, with a giant uh, chunk of text. Uh, but so, uh, practically speaking, it's really easy to define a transaction uh, through Alivix. It's a matter of uh, selecting a finder type, it's a matter of uh, uh, um, pointing and clicking and uh, dragging your uh, main selection, your subcomponents, uh, and so on and so forth. Um, typing the name of the keyboard, the, the keyword, sorry, and then set up your recognition settings, and then uh, uh, set up the interaction modes in order to, to click on those graphical elements, um, pushing a text string, uh, and so on. And finally, we can also set up performance uh, uh, thresholds. 
So, uh, but it's not the end of the story. We have got uh, uh, these three basic uh, finders, but we can put everything together in a in a sort of uh, really complex and uh, abstract uh, object. Uh, so, basic, uh, you, we can we can put an image finder, a rectangular finder, and a text finder. Everything together. Uh, and you can uh, link them together with the so-called regular uh, region of interests, and uh, everything, um, the object finder itself can inherit uh, the uh, interaction of the basic elements. So finally, we've got a really complex uh, object in order to solve complex uh, transactions. So now the thing is that uh, you don't have just one single transaction, but, uh, but a list of transactions in order to solve your end user interaction flow. So the idea is to, um, to convert every single transaction um, graphically. And uh, what does it mean? It means uh, list um, uh, Alivix, Alivix keywords in order to, um, to have to have what? The so-called test cases. And that's exactly what you have to do in the uh, Alivix editor. So if you run that test case, you can uh, automate exactly that user interaction flow. Second, Alivix can measure application transaction. And here I've got to, uh, to give you a, a, a grasp uh, of, of, the, of, the, of the engine uh, below. Um, uh, um, <clears throat> uh, telling to you uh, uh, something about uh, about the engine, we've got a thread. So uh, um, one thread is dedicated to the, the frame grabber. So uh, we we are going to take frames from your screen uh, at a certain pace. For example, here the frequency is uh, 250 millisecond, and in one, uh, in a, in a in a point at a time, we've got our transaction. And there is another thread, uh, the, uh, the so-called object detector, uh, that uh, is going to take uh, the first uh, uh, available frame from the frame grabber. And uh, it has um, a lower frequency, for example, one second. And when uh, it will detect uh, the, uh, the object on the screen, then the, a measurement system uh, comes up and gives to you the final uh, transaction performance. So that's going on and on for all your test case uh, transactions at, after tr uh, transaction after transaction. Um, the final achievement is that we wanted to, uh, to first of all, assess the availability of a transaction. So we've got a transaction. The, the question is, is available or not? And then we've got to assess the responsiveness of that transaction. So how um, many seconds it takes to appear. Finally, uh, Alivix reports the test case transactions uh, in several forms. Uh, first of all, uh, to, the, um, to the command line, and then it uh, provides to you also uh, rich HTML interactive pages. And here you can find uh, the screenshots of your uh, transaction and the, uh, the performance below. Uh, finally, um, if if a keyword um, breaks, you can find uh, not a, a static uh, screenshot, but an, but, uh, an, um, an animation um, that uh, gives to you the reason why uh, the keyword uh, um, uh, was broken. Uh, Alivix can report everything to uh, a, system, a monitoring system. So basically, here you've got your Alivix probe. Um, an Alivix test cases um, can be um, automatized with, uh, with a remote uh, client like uh, S, uh, um, an S Client++, and it uh, reports to, to your um, monitoring system. And this is the uh, finally uh, the final uh, time series. So basically, it's really uh, clear um, the uh, that the our appli network application um, suffered uh, um, of uh, down uh, service downtimes and uh, uh, latency uh, spikes. 
So uh, Alivix 2.3 is out right now. Um, just browse alivix.com to uh, download your package. Alivix 2.4 is under development and uh, we are going to re release, uh, release it this month. So I wanted to, to show uh, um, a short uh, screencast of Alivix. This is a running test case on a on a complex uh, graphical user interface. And uh, as you can see, uh, Alvix is able to recognize uh, complex uh, graphical objects and uh, uh, browse exactly as a human would do the user uh, interface, uh, filling a com complex uh, form, and so on and so forth. So, um, for example, here you can add a new address in this uh, CMR. Uh, completing, 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 filling this uh, uh, complex form, and so on and so forth. So uh, my final messages are: uh, first of all, Alivix can really certificate uh, the ongoing uh, quality of your IT uh, services, and then uh, IT operations can really modulate uh, the infrastructure resources. Um, I mean the, uh, the pool of hardware resources. And IT clients can really uh, check their software level agreement uh, with uh, providers. This is my call for, uh, call for action. Uh, you can browse uh, alvix.com in order to, to have a getting started documentation. And of course, you can contribute to uh, GitHub. If you pull request something, we will be really, really happy. So. Uh, for us, Alivix is highs and hands like a human with a stopwatch. Thanks a lot for your attention.